what's up gamers welcome back to my channel if you're new ding that notification bell subscribe leave a like and comment sell me your soul and do all of this before we get to any sort of content of the video you know just like blindly subscribe and do all this stuff just do it no questions asked give me money but most importantly give me clout like these instagram accounts i'm gonna be talking about today we're gonna be looking at people who will chase after clout and attention using any sort of method so i was just about to go to bed right and i'm just like sitting there i'm on my explore page and then for some reason this account called planting trees co like, like comes up in my explore page which i had no idea how that even happened like, their posts haven't been recent, and I don't follow all this environmentally friendly stuff or scam accounts, so I really don't know. But they came up in my explore page. So I decided to check it out because I knew that this would just be a gold mine for something horrible. Like, this is not a legitimate account. There's a bunch of Instagram accounts right now that will say, we'll plant a tree for every follower, we will do something special for the oceans for every follower, we will save the earth and prevent environmental catastrophe with every single like. And it's just absurd because all of this stuff requires money, it requires people, it requires like a lot of assets. So the thing with these accounts that are faking doing all these things for the environment, they're never really attached to an organization formally, like they never have any uh, organization links in their bio and they never have any photo proof. But as you can see by the picture I have here, well, there's a link right there and there's pictures. They didn't just leave it with no links, no photo proof. Instead, they, uh, <laughs> They stole photos off of Google Images, and they used that link there not to link it to an organization or awareness or anything. It links you to a Teespring shop <laughs> where it says plant a tree co, because this is, what a, this is what a tree planting organization would do, right? They would instantly link you to a merch shop like some hungry YouTuber, as opposed to linking you to the actual organization page for information and how you can help or get involved. No, they'll link you to a merch shop. So, here's the thing about this logo on their merchandise. I thought it didn't look like, okay, I didn't think it looked good, but I thought that it looked like uh, too unique for them to have designed it themselves. Because this is a lazy account, right? It's a lazy account that wants cheap followers with no effort by pretending to be someone else or pretend to be doing something noble. So I looked at their icon right here, then I ran it through a reverse image search, and what I came up with was Evergreen International. And as you can see, they're basically the same logo, like everything has been traced here. Uh, it's been horizontally compressed, and that tiny little part of the stump has been taken out, but other than that, the logo is basically identical. <laughs> so it's a low effort copy of Evergreen International's logo for their merch shop because again, that's what organizations do. They make merchandise shops. So right now we've looked at their link. Their bio is just typical wanting clout with planting a tree for every follower. Uh, the amount of trees that they have supposedly planted, which is zero. Zero trees have been planted by them. And it says, share with friends to spread the word. Tag us on your stories for a shout out. Why? So here's the photos that they have posted on their thing. Uh, something that jumps out to me right now is that this looks like quite the big effort for an account with only 9,000 followers that's not like partnered with anyone. It looks like a lot of effort with all these different people in the things. I also noticed that the image quality didn't quite line up from photo to photo. I was skeptical in the first place, but this really made me skeptical, so I decided to reverse image search uh, a few images, and I'm just gonna be showing you some of the ones that I found. So they have a photo right here. They're just pretending that it's a team who's been working for them, and that's this is them, and they've been planting trees. I did a reverse image search, which is not that hard. Let me just show you how to do it, okay? So, you go into Google Images. You click on images Google, you click on the search by image, upload an image, choose file. I'm gonna go click um, my alternate reverse check image, opening the file, it's uploading the file, and now I have a few visually similar images, right? And I have a few links right here, right? Tree Canada, stuff like that. But then, I found the exact like image layout right here, just a bit of a green banner on top of it. So I click that and then I'm brought to the actual source of the image. And this account is taking this photo and this effort and pretending and playing it off as its own effort. 
which I don't know about the legality of what this account is doing, but it appears morally wrong in the very least. Here's their photo saying, let's plant. Great job to our San Diego team today. 100 trees planted. And it's actually hilarious that they said that this is San Diego. I pulled this up and it says, Hiram Walker and Sons joins Forest Ontario on the city of Windsor to plant trees and take the green leaf challenge. So this is actually a photo that was taken in 2017 at the city in Canada that's on the Detroit border. So, you know, the estimations are a little bit off there. Not quite San Diego. Um, maybe this account tried. That region estimate isn't like offensive in any way. But here's another photo that they tried playing off as their own that said, our Japan team just finished up planting 250 trees. Super proud of everyone who volunteered. And there are a lot of Asian people in this photograph. I just find it wrong that this account would say it's a Japan team because there's Asians in it when it's actually a photo taken from an effort in Singapore. And it's really sad because like a lot of the comments on this account like think it's real, but then a lot are skeptical too, but it's just really sad to see people saying, well done, hats off. I really hope this is real. If it is, God bless all of you. Earth really needs heroes like you. Congrats. And I think these guys are legit. This makes me really sad that, pe that this person is actually getting praise for just being like a really horrible liar and um, stealing other people's photographs and selling merch under the guise of helping the environment. And <laughs> on their stories, it's actually really funny because they have two polls things and it says, where should we plant trees next? I don't know, I guess they're just trying to increase engagement, but it's like, hey, where do we, uh, what fake location do I put in next? And then, and then this poll, this poll post is probably my favorite one. It says, how do you feel about our plans to change this account to a page dedicated to protecting and restoring our oceans? We won't be making any changes until we reach our goal of 50,000 followers. So they're just asking, how do you feel if we change this tree account into an ocean account? Because oceans, that's, that's where the profits at. Oceans get lots of likes. I mean, you remember Healthy Oceans Co? Yes, we need to become Planting Coral Co. Okay, my next account I want to talk about was something that happened over a month ago. I get it. It happened over a month ago, so like, why would I address it now? The reason being that this video is just in general about different actions that people have taken to gain clout. This one just really bothered me back when this was, back when the drama around this account was going down. I don't know why this account stood out to me in particular. So, so the Sudan situation, blue for Sudan, if you don't remember that, or if you never learned about it, just take a look at this 10 second or so blip of information that will fill you in on a lot of stuff. This account was really big at the time that this Blue for Sudan thing was going on. And it says, we're committed to donating up to 100,000 meals to Sudanese civilians. Please share our post to spread awareness on this massacre. They really wanted to, <laughs> to spread awareness on the account, right? Um, they got up to like 300,000 followers at one point. This is just like a really old screenshot of it. And the account had one post on it. It said, for every person who follows and shares this on their story, we will provide one meal to starving Sudanese children. For every person who follows and shares this on their story, keep in mind at their peak, they had 300,000 followers about that. And you can imagine a good chunk of those people who also reposted that on their story so there's no way there's no way you can donate that many meals to a place where the borders are closed like the borders were closed in sudan there's absolutely no way you can make an effort to get food over there also the funds they were not talking about how they were going to raise funds where they were going to get the money from nothing they weren't providing any official organization information so this account is bad it's it's exploiting a bad situation but the craziest thing about it is that this person who owned this account didn't even think twice about exposing themselves over DMs because the main downfall of this account happened when a few DMs were being released in between uh, this person and um, a writer at The Atlantic known as Taylor Lorenz. And this is the video of their DMs. So here the DMs start with this reporter reaching out to them saying that they'd like to cover a story on how accounts like this person's are spreading misinformation. And she says, can you please provide your best contact info so I can give you a call ASAP, thanks. And then the professional response from Sudan Meal Project, totally not 
a singular person, it's it's definitely an organization, says, Haha, are you serious? You want me to comment on how I'm spreading misinformation? The news reporter asks, where are you obtaining the money for such an effort? And then she said, a spokesperson with an aid organization has called your post false and irresponsible. Do you have a response? And then Sudan Meal Project says, I'm not obtaining any money, but what I am obtaining is followers and exposure. <coughs> So they go back and forth a bit, then the news reporter decides to ask, why do you have false figures about another country in the caption of your post? And then Sudan Meal Project, after being confronted and feeling attacked, they just want to have a scapegoat, right? So then they say, I love how the left likes to twist these stories. The left. Freaking libtards. How dare these libtards take down scam accounts, my god. So let's move on to people exploiting the murder of Bianca Devins. Bianca Devins is a 17-year-old girl who had a somewhat of an internet following, and many people refer to her as an e-girl, but I don't really want to do that, just out of respect in this video because of the connotations that go with the term e-girl. Um, and I'm not going to get into talking about how Bianca was as a person. I never knew her personally, and frankly, I don't know enough information about who she was to talk about that. But I can talk about the situation that I observed happening over Instagram. The man who murdered Bianca posted pictures of her death on his Instagram story and over other social media apps. I was on Instagram at the time, uh, it was like f five in the morning and I wasn't really expecting to come across something like this, but I was just like looking at people's stories and everything. And then I ended up coming across these photos on accident. And that's how I found out about the situation. So people everywhere were posting pictures of Bianca, like not pictures of her when she was alive, not the way that she should be remembered but the pictures of her bloodied self. And people were actually posting it as their like profile pictures. I clearly can't show an example of this in the video. I actually have to censor the profile pictures of people who did this in the video, but they actually said it as their profile picture. It's so disgusting. So on the main, on the Instagram account of the man who killed Bianca, there was one last post. And in the comments of this last post, there were a bunch of people commenting that they have the video on their page and by video there they the video doesn't exist the video never existed the video wasn't real but people made up this lie and they were saying i have the video of bianca being murdered follow me to see the video that's how they were promoting their account um so it says i have the full bit on my page and not lying like these other accounts Hurry though, I accept quick, but please don't report it. Like, how could you call the other accounts the liar in the situation? Like, just to make yourself, like, just put yourself on a little bit of a pedestal. You're trying to put all these other accounts down that are doing something equally as horrible as you. This person, boys, I deadass have the video posted right now on my account. And it's just a meme page. It's a meme page trying to get followers for their shitty memes. They had like this anime profile picture, nothing against that. It's just like people of all types are exploiting the situation. Here's something that says, uh, this is Bianca Devin's um, account name dot death video dot real. And it has the picture of her dead face. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm having a hard time looking at it. Um, it has a picture of her dead. Sorry if I'm like breaking up here a bit. I'm not like, I'm not crying. I'm just, uh disturbed i mean i've seen the picture a few times I'm, I'm not fully desensitized to seeing this but i'm mainly disturbed that people will actually like there are people like this who will set this as their profile picture and try to get clout from it that's what disturbs me about the situation the most someone said at blank posted the pics and the story behind it on his recent and he ain't even private and they have a picture and i'm like 99 percent sure that that profile picture is hannah baker I know, I know it's just her lips and her nose, but I just had to cover um, 13 Reasons Why in a video a little bit. So like I'm 99% sure that's a 13 Reasons Why photo. So I mean, this, doesn't, this does not come as a shock to me that someone would do this. Another person says, DM me if you want the video of her getting killed. All these fake ass people self-promoting are clowns. And like based on these accounts and everything, I thought that these were bots posting this. I thought that these were bots taking advantage of the situation, but then when I look into, like, the accounts or whatever, like this person, I got the video of him doing it, DM me for it. I looked at their account, and they're a YouTuber, like, they're not a bot. Real people do this. 
So that's about all I wanted to say about people clout chasing on Instagram. I know this is just basically kind of like a rant video, but I need to get off my chest. I've seen a lot of stuff recently and I just wanted to talk about it. And since I have a platform to talk about things and post about whatever I want to really, I thought I'd do this video for now. If there's any sort of thing you want me to talk about in an upcoming video or want me to at least look at, maybe there's an issue that you think should be addressed, just comment down below. Now I know that parts of this video got a little dark. I feel like I say this in a lot of my videos recently. Um, but I really hope that you can just keep your head high, stay positive, and have a good rest of your day. Stay epic, gamers. Oh, every night is like a day. But oh, I feel it raise. There's an hour I'm running late. Let's wait just one more day. I know I'm running away from moments. What am I becoming? I guess something's broken.